Hi, everybody. I'm Don DePetta. Thanks for coming out tonight. Give yourselves a round of applause. Very cool. That's right. I am Italian, or how it's pronounced out here in L.A., Armenian. <laughs> or the alternate pronunciation, Mexican. <laughs> now, all three of those cultures have very different meanings for the word wife beater, don't they? For an Armenian, a wife beater, it, it's an undershirt, guys. It's just a buffer, keeps all that hair in. It's gross. For a Mexican, usually a unisex article of clothing worn under a starter jacket. And for an Italian, a wife beater is a... So, I am a... Grew up in a very Italian family, raised by my grandmother. It's very old school, she grew up in the Depression time. She always raised me, no matter what time of year it was, it could be 100 degrees outside, Don, put on your jacket. Grandma, I don't want to put on a jacket. Hey, don't talk back, put on a jacket. Grandma was smart though, man, she was. Be walking down the grocery aisles, she'd see something catch my eye, she'd be like, hey, you like that? Put it in your jacket. <laughs> you know, I once saw a couple sit on the same side of the booth, no one else on the other side of them, and they held hands while they ate. Oh, it gets worse. And when they needed to cut something, he forked it. And then like the dynamic duo they were, she came in and knifed it. And then I threw up. Date a lot in LA, I used to. And it always went something like this, you know, I'm, so, do you have any roommates? Well, actually, I do. What's he like? Well, um, he's kind of like me. No, I mean, people would say I'm kind of like him. I mean, we kind of look alike. I live with my father. <laughs> then they're gone. Weird. Found my father's weed stash recently. That was fun. No, guys, I was pissed. Okay, Cheech and Chong's been living downstairs, all right? I drive 20 minutes into the valley to buy weed from a guy named Paco. All right, Paco's had two strikes on him, man, and he's just itching to go back because he's having trouble assimilating to regular life. Trying to buy a dime bag, he goes, can I go shake one out, boss? Yes, don't hurt me, dear Lord. Should have known, though, you know? My father's a pothead. All these snacks all over the place just pop up randomly. You know, he'd keep his weed behind the M&Ms on the third shelf. It was just, writing was on the wall. It really was. I found out we were going through some boxes because we were moving and I, uh, I pulled out this bag of joints. And I go, hey, Pop, what is this? And he got that look you get when you're 15 years old and somebody, somebody walks in on you messing around with yourself and you just go, oh, God, I don't, I don't know, those aren't mine, those are wood screws. I go, wood screws, Daddy, you high right now? Cause, Cause I need some forks. We could go to Chipotle. <laughs> Been waiting 26 years to say this to this man. I look him dead in his eyes and I go, Dad, I'm not even mad. I'm just really disappointed in you. <laughs> Thank you guys, that's my time, I appreciate it.